All right, number four of our test review, we are given zeros and a condition. So we're gonna start with our zeros. Our zeros are four and i. And if I have a zero of i, then I have a zero of negative i. So I'm gonna first find the function there. So when I set this up, we're gonna do x minus four, x minus i, and x minus negative i, x plus i. Easiest thing to start with is multiplying these two binomials, x minus i, x plus i, because we're gonna go x squared plus xi minus xi and then minus i, oops, i squared. i squared of course is negative one, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna change that into a negative one. So this becomes minus negative one. These two terms here cancel each other out. And I have x squared minus negative one that turns into plus one. So now I'm going to FOIL x minus four and then x squared plus one. So we're gonna go x times x squared, x cubed, x times one, x, four times x squared, negative four x squared, and negative four times one, negative four. Okay, so we have our polynomial function here. It's all multiplied out. Now I'm gonna write this as p of x equals x cubed minus four x squared plus x minus four. So it's in the proper form. Now I have a condition and that condition is that p of one is equal to negative six. So p, oops. Write that up here, p of one equals negative six. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this function, I put it in parentheses, and then I have this a term in front of it. So we need to find a. We're given everything we need to find a, because here, this is negative six, and that's when we plug a one in for a function. So negative six equals a times one cubed minus four times one squared plus one minus four. So what we're gonna get there is one cubed, that's one minus four times one squared minus four plus one minus four. So one minus four is negative three plus one, negative two minus four, negative six. So here, I get this. I'm gonna bring this up here. Negative six equals a with a negative six. So when I solve for a, divide by both negative six, and I actually get a equals one, which makes this really easy because I'm gonna come back to my function here. I'm gonna take what I got for a, I'm gonna plug that in, and I'm gonna distribute. But when I plug a one in, right there, that distributes so it's the same thing. So my function is actually just p of x equals one times x cubed, x cubed, one times negative four x squared, negative four x squared, one times x, x, and one times negative four, negative four.